अपनी कुर्सी की बेटी बांध लो मौसम बिगड़ने वाला है What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today, I've got my hands on the Zima D1 Pro. Now this is a portable LED video projector. It's currently on sale for around 155 pounds or just under 180 US dollars. Original price is double than what I just stated. I also have a discount code to share which will bring the price down further and you'll see that on the screen right now. But the real questions are, how good is this projector? What does it offer? And how will it rank in my top projector performance chart? Well, you're about to find out. So let's start off with the specs. So this is an LED video projector. Lamp life is 30,000 hours. The brightness is 260 ANSI lumens. You have a native 1920 by 1080 resolution and this does support HDR10. And this projector also supports 4K decoding. There is also 5 GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. This supports wireless casting for both Android and iOS. Contrast ratio is 2000 to 1. You've got manual focus and manual keystone correction. Maximum optimal screen size is 120 inches. You've got HDMI input so you can hook up your favorite game console, TV box, fire stick, etc. You've got dual built-in cooling fans and you've also got dual 3 watt speakers built in. Okay, so I've got the projector all set up and the first thing I like to do is the fan noise. So standing right next to the projector, you can expect a fan noise of around 39 decibels. Now if we move back one meter, the fan noise drops down to around 35 decibels. So the projector is situated around two and a half meters away from the wall in front of us and we're projecting just over 90 inches. Also the projection is directly on a cream colored wallpaper. So as soon as you power on the projector, you're going to see this home screen layout. So you can see we've got folders for movie, music, photos, office suite, and all of that will work when you attach a hard drive or USB flash drive. We've got screen mirroring for iOS and Miracast, and then you've got your connection information in the top right hand corner. So first of all, I want to go to the main system settings and show you what we have available. Wi-Fi settings, if we go to that, you can see the Wi-Fi is on and five gigahertz Wi-Fi is available. We've got Bluetooth settings in case you wanted to connect some Bluetooth hardware or some Bluetooth speakers. We've also got projection settings where you can change the projection mode. So we've got front desktop, rear desktop, front ceiling and rear ceiling. So you can set this projector up however you like. You also have Keystone Front where digital zoom becomes available. So if your wall is not big enough, you can shrink that image down, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to leave it at 100%, go back. I'm going to put it back to side and four point keystone correction and I'm going to quickly readjust things to make it look correct. That looks about right. We've got system update and other settings and in other settings you've got boot source option so you can automatically boot HDMI every time you power on the projector. I'm going to leave that off for now. You've got other power options for standby and direct. And you've got scheduled shutdown, so 10 minutes, 20 minutes, all the way up to 120 minutes, where the projector can switch itself off automatically. And if we go to About, it will give you some system information. You can see the back end of these menus are based on Android 9. We've got one gig of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage. Let's test out screen mirroring. I'm gonna start with Miracast, which is screen mirroring for Android phones. So this is my Galaxy S22 Ultra. I'm going to select Smart View and the name of the projector should appear. It says Android 07 D3. Tap on it and hit Start Now. So it says Connecting and as you can see my Android screen has been mirrored successfully and it's working quite well although a little bit laggy. Um, yeah definitely experiencing some lag here. It's not as fast as I would have hoped it to be. So now I'm going to try the same with iOS casting. And to do that, I've got my iPhone 14 Pro. If we swipe down from the top, select mirroring, and it says there birdcast, and it gives you the instructions on the big screen as well. And in a few seconds, we should see our screen mirrored. 
So, so iOS screen mirroring has also worked fine and this one actually works a lot better with very minimal lag. So I can confirm this projector does support wireless screen mirroring for both iOS and Android. Now before we do anything else, I just want to mention that the remote control is actually very responsive. I can aim straight at the screen and the infrared gets picked up so I don't have to point it at the projector, it works in any direction. Now let's switch to HDMI and hook up the PlayStation 5. You can see in the top right hand corner it says 2160 Ultra HD because it does decode 4K. And you can see the PlayStation 5 has detected that this projector supports HDR and it let me adjust the HDR settings accordingly. So before we play games, let's head over to YouTube and play a whole bunch of trailers as we usually do. Okay, so starting off with the Costa Rica demo, you can see 4K 60 with HDR has been detected. Let's see how it streams. Okay, so just paused it on the lizard as I usually do. Now let's get a bit closer and you can see no pixelation up close. All four corners are looking sharp, bright and clear. Projection quality, colors, contrast, brightness, everything looks really nice. I'm gonna briefly switch on the light to see how the projector fares in the daytime. So everything still looks quite visible. So yes, you can use the projector in the daytime, but if you really wanna enjoy yourself, a home cinema projector should really be used in the dark. So let's go ahead and play a few more trailers to see what this thing can do. Boom. You built such a beautiful life filled with love and family. All right, so I'll just pause this clip because I want to show you that we do have picture settings. On the remote, if you press the menu button, it will bring up on the side picture and sound settings. So if we go to picture settings, you can actually fine tune things. So it's currently set on user, but you do have a number of presets. So we've got standard and I'll try and show you these in real time. We've got vivid and that kind of just oversaturates the whole image. Then we've got sports, movie, gaming mode, and finally energy saving mode. To me, the custom user mode is probably the best because you can fine tune things exactly how you want it. You can increase the contrast, decrease the saturation, and increase the sharpness, color temperature, everything. Now, if we go back, you've also got sound options. So you can fine tune the sound. Again, it's currently set on user, but you've got standard, vivid, sports, movie, and music. I'm gonna leave it on movie mode. So let's go ahead and play a few more trailers. Listen to me, George. I've got a punch like I've never seen. But in every battle, the greatest foe that we will combat. Come on, kitty. You've got to trust in me. Wait, wait, wait what's, what's going on with his eyes? I'm going to die. Maybe not. I'm going back to Doug's. What the fuck, man? And he needs to pay for what he did with the only thing he truly loves. I'm going to bite it. Sonai. <laughs> All right, we just played a whole bunch of trailers. Now let's move on to the gaming test, starting off with Astro's Playroom. Oh, 
Now inside the box you will find an HDMI cable, power cable, power supply and I'll give you a close up of the voltage information. This also comes with a handy infrared remote control and it does look a lot like a TV box remote and it is powered by two AAA batteries. Last but not least, the projector itself. Now the projector is made from a metal mesh grill on the front and the rest of the body is made from this reflective black plastic which also looks quite cool. Now on the front you can see a lens, up on top you've got a power button and focus adjustment dial, on the side you've got nothing, on the back you've got your ports. So we've got a power socket, HDMI in, a USB A port and we have an infrared port for the remote control. If we keep going, nothing on this side and that brings us back to the front of the projector and this is how the bottom of the projector looks. So you can see we do have a tripod thread in the center, so you can hook this up to any standard tripod or even ceiling mount this if you wish. So there you have it guys, that was the Zimmer D1 Pro. So the caveats first of all, speaker quality is not that great. When you're playing your console games, it's not so bad. But when you're actually watching movies, the speech and the sound does not have much separation, giving you a not so clear sound. It's very loud, the speakers, but it's just not clear enough. Solution is to connect your own speakers via the audio jack or use Bluetooth speakers. Next caveat, there is no internal battery. So being such a small portable projector, it could have benefited from an internal battery, making it usable anywhere you like. But instead, you have to use it with the mains. But even without an internal battery, I still wish this had Type-C power instead of DC, as then we could have used a power bank to power this thing, making it completely portable to use anywhere you like, out and about, etc. So last two not massive caveats or deal breakers, but I thought I'd mention them anyway. Now on the positive side, I do like the picture quality, the brightness, the contrast, the colors, all look pretty good. You've got native 1080p with HDR10, which is great. PS5 looked and played very nicely with no input lag whilst gaming. This projector supports 4K decoding, which means getting a large 4K image and scaling it down to 1080p, which in return makes it look even better than native 1080p. But you would only experience this when you connect a 4K hardware like PS5 or 4K TV box, etc. Now also, screen mirroring is a nice bonus, remote control is very responsive, and the fan noise is on the lower side, so quite silent in operation. And to give you a better idea, here is my top LED video projector chart for 2023, showing you all the latest projectors and seeing how they compare with each other. And all the projectors are ranked by projection quality and overall features. And as you can see, the Zima D1 has taken position 13 on this chart. You can view the full versions of all my charts online and free of charge at chigstech.com and read them at your leisure. So bottom line, considering this projector is on sale right now for only £159, I have to say the overall experience is too good for the price. And also don't forget to use that exclusive discount code, I'll put it again in the description and that will save you a little bit more in case you want to pick this thing up. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.